Ah, slow turtle. Mikey, you have to stop eating all of our pizza in 10 seconds. Now, I'm gonna make sure we each get two sli- What? Mm, mm, mm. Eight seconds this time. I'm all the way up. Hey! So what up guys, Eric here Dream Mode, and today, no, I'm not gonna be doing a dial, but today I am doing is a repaint. Now, today's inspiration is that I went to a toy auction and I was able to get all of these Ninja Turtles. These are the Ninja, the Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles. And I was able to get them for $2 each, so it's a pretty dope deal. <clears throat> so, I, I freaking love these little guys. These little guys, have great articulation, it's a great sculpt, and there's some opportunity here to make this look amazing. So I did. Boom, here's Leo. And as you can see, I just brought out all the detail and it took away that plastic look and gave it more of a collector's touch. So, today's video is I'm gonna show you guys how to make something like this that looks plasticky, very Fisher Price and give it all the detail in the world to make it look like a collector's item. So now I'm gonna go over the materials real quick. White for highlights, black, orange acrylic, olive green acrylic, Spanish tile, red acrylic, purple acrylic, blue acrylic, some matte finish, some clear glass, some rubbing alcohol, some Q-tips. So this is basically what I'm, I'm using to repaint this guy to look like this guy, all right? So that's what today's video is going to be about, so let's get to it. So I got some black acrylic, a little bit of black acrylic, and some water, and I'm just going to drown this guy. Bye Mikey. Alrighty, so... I just gave Michelangelo a black wash. He looks nice and dirty now. And what I'm gonna do now though, I'm, some of y'all may just start kind of like cleaning him up with a paper towel. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait a little. I'm gonna wait a little because I want the black to settle a little bit and then slowly just kind of brush away all the act. It's taking away a little bit too much. I can still see they took away some of the detail in the middle, but I'm gonna repaint, I'll repaint that. But um, you can clean that right now and look and it's absorbed all the details so what I'm gonna do to make sure that those details sink in I'm just gonna just let it dry up let it dry up and then you wash it I mean then you um, wipe off the excess um, black wash he's a little bit dry now so what I could do now while it's still wet I could, I could start pulling off I can start pulling off the black alright Uh, you could be as careful with the Q-tip, or you could just use a regular paper towel and just wipe, wipe. All right, so you can see. I mean, I cleaned them up. You know, even doing this even does a lot. <laughs> Look at all that detail. It's already popping out. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm, now I'm gonna seal. I'm gonna seal these details by using a matte finish. All right. Now, cool thing is why I like the matte finish is the matte finish gives it a surface where when I start painting and dry brushing it absorbs the paint a lot better and you get a lot you get more texture out of it uh, on the surface so it took off the shine like it just made it duller just so yeah so now I'm gonna paint it the green go over with the black wash again seal it again so that I keep repeating those patterns over and over until I get what I until I'm satisfied with what I got all right all right got some olive green Gonna just dab a little bit and then just lightly brush over it. The green areas. 
The point is not to paint it completely. I'm just gonna put just one light layer. And it'll apply the green, but it'll keep the color, that the base color uh, as, as its prominent base. So it's kind of almost like we're giving it a tint. bad but the more layers the more results so I'm gonna add a little bit more do some weathering on the brown and then do one more one more layer of black wash seal it again and see how it looks this is what I'm gonna do again another black wash that's what I'm gonna do now another black wash you guys are like why what the hell what for let's give it another level another level of detail that could sit down on it and now this is gonna it's another layer of detail okay kind of blends all those details together as one like like a tint All right, now I'm gonna go over it with the clear gloss. So as you can see with alcohol, I'm pulling off that first black wash layer right here. And I'm getting some of the original color. So certain areas is gonna stick and certain areas is gonna pop out. So that's gonna give it some nice dimension and you know give it a little bit of realism. You see that? So what happened is with the rubber alcohol, I removed all a lot of the layers that we put up on the top. So again, some of y'all may want this, some of y'all may not. Um, <clears throat> all right, just to show you the difference. So it really depends, all right? All right, now one of the final touches is if you're not happy with the band color you could always apply you know more of you know orange or whatever over it and do it all over again until you get it to the color you want it Da -da -da, it's done all right guys yeah I, I, I put the the water uh, tower just to kind of give it it's you know nice scenery but I'm gonna remove this right now all 
All right, so here they are. So, as you can see, look at them. Like, they don't look like they were before. Before it was very plastic. Before it was very bright and colorful. And a lot of the details were just kind of blending in and you can't really appreciate the sculpture. So, here it is. Here's the, here's the group. And man, it makes that little uh, Nickelodeon, you know, toy look like a serious collection and I'm loving it now the weapons I kind of little cheated um, this one is actually uh, these are not the weapons from the original figure this one is from the original uh, playmate uh, Donatello but the rest of these are actually from the NECA comic book uh, figure um, and now that I built these guys I definitely have to build a diorama for these guys and one of the, that's the reason why I put the the water tower in the video. So <clears throat> so yeah, so the water tower is more for like, inspiration. Um, now I definitely want to probably in the future I'll, I'll make a, a rooftop. But yeah, so guys, I mean the whole point of this is that yeah, I mean if you guys have these figures, hey, hook them up and make them look a little bit more of a collector item instead of a, a little kid's toy. Uh, but you could you could do this to anything. I mean, I did the same thing in a way uh, with my transformers, and you guys could do this to any figure. If you see uh, there's a toy that you could definitely hook it up, I say why not hook it up. So so yeah, guys. So here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please write a comment, hit that like button, and please subscribe. All right, guys. Peace.